All right, guys, Happy New Year! Woo! And for those of you who don't know, I'm talking about the Chinese New Year that uh, I'm pretty sure everybody in China celebrates. I, I know some South Asia country country does. I know Vietnam does. Uh, most of them does. I think most Buddhist country does. Um, but tell me, tell me, tell me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure a lot of Asian countries celebrate Chinese New Year. That means 80% of the Warcraft Free community said celebrates Chinese New Year. Woo! Woo! I, I, that's it. Yeah, my neighbors think I'm crazy because I'm yelling. It's a happy new year and end of fucking January. But uh, yeah, there it is. And we're we are gonna be watching uh, Believe. Like, um, I think he was a. Uh, did he play the last game of two on two? I don't remember. The last game I uploaded, which was uh, him and a human guy versus uh, as being a Korean team. I think it was him taking on a Chinese team or a human team. <laughs> Holy God, that was an awesome kind of most Some hero abuse I've ever seen. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be Undead vs. Human, historically renowned imbalanced matchup. Well, besides Orc vs. Uh, versus Orc, is next to impossible. But uh, here it is, Believe vs. Human, let's see, Sock. L-O-F Sock. Huh, little orphan. Freddy Saga? Uh, no, wait, that sounds pretty pedophile. But, uh, <laughs> oh, it looks like they're gonna be Teal Human versus Yellow Undead, and we're gonna see a DK first, and I'm pretty sure that Undead scouted the wrong way, yeah, so he doesn't has no idea what's going on here. This is my, this is all played on Chris Twisted Meadows, therefore, the human is gonna have a super big advantage from fast expanding, getting a super big amount of money, and then you just. Uh, the Undead is absolutely not Undead can do. You, get a big tier 2 push. Somebody All Undead can do is kill this peasant. If the ghoul ever scouts here, I think ghoul realize, okay, there's no no human hasn't creeped here yet, and there's absolutely nothing here, so here comes DK. Knows exactly where human is, but where is he going? He's going the wrong way if he's going to the goblin lab, or straight to human main. Uh, where is he going? Is he going to check this camp with the DK? Uh, let's see his vision. He's, nope, nope. He knows exactly where the human is now. But human just finished creeping. What, he does not have a scout uh, arcing tower yet. Most human do. Uh, they will put an arcing tower right here to warn off any uh, skeletons or DK uh, uh, hovering, whatever, uh, creeping, lurking, DK. There's a quail to kill one peasant. That's gonna spawn a pair of skeletons here in a second. And let's see. Yeah, there's a pair. And these militia needs to go go to town. Literally go to town and kill these militias. Let's see, the farm gets whacked a couple times. Footman's gonna come back after creeping this. I'm pretty sure Archimedes picked up a pretty good item. I just can't seem to find him. There he is. He picked up, oh, a lion horn with storm wind. That's gonna give him a little bit bonus when he go harass the undead base with the footman and Walamto and Archimage after he gets to tier three, uh, level three, of course. So the humans are gonna have to do some multi prone um, control here. Split his attention in two places. And dad's gonna get another pair of skeletons. He's just hovering around. Meanwhile, gotta get a tier two. If you you have you have to get fast destroyers if you're going after against the Archmage because the wall toes are so effing deadly without destroyers. And it looks like the DK is gonna try to do a little mess mess around on the Archmage. It didn't work. And the human is gonna stay at tier one. No lumber mill in sight, and a lot of lumber peasants make you believe this is gonna be a fast expanding. Just to see where the human's gonna expand. Let's hope human doesn't make the sky's mistake where to expand the <laughs> to expand the proxy right next to your opponent. I uh, mean, the game two of WC 2011 oh, against oh, Fly. That was uh, no, I'm sorry, against not Fly. What is his name? Against um, Len. Yeah, that's right. That was a big mistake. It looks like Archimage is gonna staff back, but he's gonna be blocked inside of his base. He's gonna have to. Oh no, no, no never mind. He just mined this tree out. Now he's gonna get out. Meanwhile, the Archimage is going to re regroup. Let's see. No shops here. No lumber mill. So this is definitely gonna be expanding. I don't see a tier one tower rush anywhere. Yep, there's a lumber mill. Seven peasants gets pulled. Eight peasants get pulled. Holy crap! And we're gonna see five, six footmen chasing these half almost half numbered undead army around this undead army has to retreat dk is going to leave the retreat i think nope okay ghouls go one way dk go the other way i think dk is going to try to pick off a couple peasants and peasants have to stick around until militia runs out of uh runs out of steam 
Meanwhile, down there is the Ultimate this year too. We're gonna see a graveyard add-on, Ziggurat. We're gonna see uh, probably a slaughter slaughterhouse right here. The Lich. We're gonna pressure the human minion tier too. Very standard. Attempt the creep jack didn't work. We're gonna see the Archmage is gonna probably get a level three if he can manage to kill a creep here. One Fuman did get surrounded and killed. But looks like the DK is in one hand to retreat. Uh, full, uh, and humans don't give up this uh, expansion attempt because the undead is right there to deny it. Well, to at least harass it. He didn't manage to get tier 2 as, uh, as well, so he's gonna be stuck at this tier 1 tech. Uh, just awkward tier 1 tech. Put with even more militia. Somebody These creeps are just confused. Oh, like, what, right what are they doing? They killed a couple of my friends, and now they're gonna get, go away? Oh. Well, well, what are these humans doing? And well, what are those what are those crawling things Someone doing? <laughs> now let's go back to sleep. And humans gonna come back to kill more of their friends. Here we go. And undead is right behind the human. Watch this. And we're gonna see militia getting pulled here. And uh, more schools are gonna be brought over. Undead is gonna do a mass school build. This is really similar to a build they could do against Night Elf. Mass ghouls and destroyers. Forget about fiends. No fiends in the on the battlefield because they're pretty weak due to some um, due to some bounds and some patches. And looks like undead is gonna go right here. Let's see if a creep dragon ogre nicely done and prevent the archmage hit the level, level three. Prevent the water torn from coming out. And here is a finally a level three. I think that was a ghoul. No, uh, someone. I, heard, I thought I heard a ghoul kill. But never mind. Level three Archimedes level the less. So here comes the water water torn. So the undead is going to retreat, knowing he's fighting an uh, unwinnable battle. Here comes the scout tower and later on the arcing tower. Tier two definitely up for undead. It's going straight to tier three, adding on a, a slaughterhouse. So this is definitely going to be a destroyer rush. Beat the human uh, tier one timing. I'm sorry. T uh, beat the human tier two timing. That is, beat the uh, beat the human anti air timing. Unless human decides to go for rifleman. Uh, in which case, they're going to be absolutely worthless later on against uh, against ghoul frenzy ghouls and the abominations. And <laughs> Shredder just standing here. Look at this. Look at this. What's up? What's up, guys? Don't mind me. I should have been doing my job. I'm not. I'm uh, I'm driven by Mexican. Okay, that that's not that's not uh, good at all. But uh, looks like the town is going to be harassed here. Go after the peasants. Forget about the footman and the wall. I'm told. Go after the peasants. Even the low HP ghoul is going to be coiled. Coil the ghoul. You got the mana left? There's a coil. So the cool is gonna be saved for another day. And it looks like the peasants are gonna be repaired. It's gonna be pulled off the car hall to repair this tower. The only saving grace and nice surround on the DK. DK is determined to kill this tower. Look at this. Look at this dedication. He's gonna be killed. And here comes the Lich. He's gonna do a nice Nova here to Nova a lot of these footmen. If he decides to, so there we go. He's gonna like, go after a footman. The footman's gonna be killed by them, by their, by his peers. Wow. The footman's gonna get killed by his own, uh, by his own uh, veteran uh, 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 colleagues. That's just brutal. That's backstabbing. Talking about backstabbing. The Archmage, meanwhile, is trying to deny the destroyer timing by attacking the slaughterhouse under under construction. Humans are gonna try to do a lot of damage, but uh, undead base is virtually in, in impenetrable without a without siege weapon to draw them out, uh, or, or just outnumber them two to one. That's <laughs> that's what humans do. At least try to do in this matchup. Or you have a blade master that can kill the DK in three shots. That that'll do it. Um, but other than that, you're gonna have to outnumber the undead in, in their own base with the uh, slow tower and blight in, on, on their back on their backs and the. Uh, and the graveyard providing graveyard and shop providing un endless uh, skeletons. So we're gonna see the humans gonna regroup here. Lich is gonna. Oh Jesus! What is Lich trying to do here? You got two coils on you at level one. What are you gonna use down? You used on a bunch of footmen earlier. Looks like one footman was uh, focused down, and uh, I don't think this human sock. <laughs> Stupid! I can't believe that he picked that. That he picked that name. Sock is gonna have to not sock. Hello. And we're gonna see human is gonna lose one footman just pretty easily. There, for the second footman, if not careful. Okay, Archmage is gonna get killed. I don't think Undead lost a ghoul with the entire exchange. Uh, partially due to the uh, statue, or mainly due to this good micro. I think only footman, uh, sorry, uh, only lost by the humans one footman as well. Let's see if the statue can do some blocking. Ah, oh, too late. He realizes it's about too late. DK can coil him though. Uh, no, never mind. Uh, level four Archimage after doing what? What did he do? What did he do to get him, him himself to level four? Someone tell me. But anyway, Archimage is gonna come back to 
try to get this destroyer and they're too late aha destroyer is on the way we're gonna see the wall arm is gonna be completely worthless and now Archimedes is gonna have to think about uh, getting maybe a tome where you're training to get some uh, to get some blizzard action going here's Nova to slow down the Archimage. I don't think Archimage is in any trouble here let's see if your coils are gonna be casted nope only level one coil and won't do any good where did the Archimage go holy crap holy Jesus what is this what is Zinfi? If you stop playing on Sock's account, I know you suck, but don't you don't have to make an alter ego for yourself. Infi, no! <laughs> Good god. Uh you know oh, I'm gonna have to take a drink for that. Oh god. What am I drinking? White Russian? No, not the girl, the the drink. I wish I was drinking white Russian girl. Hello! And we're gonna see another fight here to try to creep the DK to level 3. Also, a counter expansion! I have never seen this timing before. I had never seen this timing work before. Uh, to, to put it that, I've seen this time work timing before on some battles on that replays because the human doesn't expand. Uh, I'm sorry, scout. But it looks like Undead is gonna counter expand at. What was that? Why do you counter your own. Why do you cancel your own ziggurat? Oh, to split your ziggurat apart so they cannot be blown by one sapper. Okay, that I think that has to be it. That, uh, that's the only reason you cancel the ziggurat and put it one right next to it. But uh, uh, counter expanding at tier three with ghouls and uh, destroyers. What is the? What is this? I I can only assume humans are gonna get a mountain king second, or unless he's going for tanks, uh, which I don't think. I don't think it's way late, too late for tanks. He knows his expansion getting delayed, and his tank was delayed. The, ta the tank timing is way off, so there's no way he's gonna go tanks. Um, so it might, might, might be uh, breakers and chopters and uh, man king. I don't know. It's, tier two is up. He's, he's going straight to tier three. This might be a mass air or mass tank build. Although, if we if it was a tank build, we would have seen a okay. There, there we go. There's gonna be mass air. I, I was gonna saw, thought, if this is a tank build, this black thing is sort of be coming up by the time uh, humans are upgrading to tier two, because that's when you start researching tank armor. So when the ta first tank rolls out, he has level three armor, eight fortified armor. That's absolutely impossible to de to kill without uh, siege weapon. Uh, and uh, we're gonna see a third hero here, Doc Ranger, oh, uh, Beastmaster, uh, not Beastmaster, uh, Pit Lord, uh, any, anything goes, Doc Ranger, Pit Lord, I, I'm kind of uh, one of those, one of the two. Or the Panda, <laughs> I said Panda, I did say Panda to be honest, uh, the, at first, but I was, uh, I was, I was, I, I didn't any mean Panda, I meant Pit Lord, but I, I was thinking Pit Lord, but I said Panda, uh, but it turned out I was, I was right by mistake. Here we go, we're gonna see Archimedes is gonna try to creep solo with the Mountain King. Mountain King is gonna be focused. Let's see if the Archimedes is gonna pass his TP to the Mountain King. No, he's gonna TP himself. That's gonna leave the Mountain King to Nuka Nova Koyo! Holy god. Almost did. But somehow, human managed to clear out this creep camp here. Lost a footman. Holy crap, see how much footman corpses are here? Four of them. Fo footman corpses here. So, human lost pretty much his entire army at that camp. Um, getting what? What did he get? He got um, what item did he get? He might have just turned around and sell it. Yeah, he must, he had to turn around, turn around and sell it. Um, so it looks like Undead is gonna try to creep his Lich to the level three. Pan uh, I'm sorry, Panda's the level two at least. I think the purpose of Panda is to counter any gyrocopters or uh, what do you call those fire machines that could potentially counter his destroyers. So a level three Panda can really neutralize those. And we're gonna see if Shade is gonna follow Human around. Let's see if Human's gonna expand one more time. Yes, he looks like he's going to expand one more time. So this might be an endless uh, Sauron Human build. I just invented that term, by the way. Sauron uh, from Sauron Zerg from StarCraft days. You get uh, like five mining bases. Well, that's the strategy in Sauron Zerg. You go five gas. You go five gas Zerg and just pour as many crap as you can to the Protoss, uh, and uh, eventually Protoss is run out of run out of money. That's <laughs> that's that's one strategy. I've never seen a Sauron Zerg lose. Uh, I've never seen a Sauron Zerg strategy lose. But uh, to be honest, I've only seen like three Sauron Zerg strategies total. So what do you, what is that? Oh, three and zero. Anyway, Griffins are out, so we're gonna see Banshees to counter those. 
I hope Undead gets Banshee's account count of those, but he does have a second base. A second Necropolis is going to be thrown out, just to save some lumber. And we're going to see, here's a Boneyard, and no Banshee on the ground. Whoa! This is going to be a balls to the wall, hard counter by the... By the undead player, looks like the paladin is going to be staffed, and looks like the wand toes are going to be focused on right away. Thunderclap and Thunderbolt is going to kill the panda most likely. Mountain, Mountain Kings are going to hit level 3, although he is still in danger of a coil. A coil is going to be able to kill him though. There's Nova, there's a coil, and turn around for the Archimage. Archimage is the one who has to retreat. And I don't think any, there's any more mana left on the list through another Nova. There's one coil left on the. Holy crap! <laughs> I feel like I'm watching a Tower D game here. This is what you build to stop the waves coming at you when you do a little funnel here and reverse funnel the other way uh, to stop the waves from going through your your lane. That, this is what I feel like I'm watching. What the, what is this? And the Griffins just rule the air, except they cannot damage the destroyers. So that's a little dilemma they have. My fiends are just coming out, so. Uh, I, I think Undead, if, he, if you're going to go for Fiends to counter the the Griffins, you absolutely have to add a second to the Crypt. You cannot and uh, outproduce this. This is scary. You cannot outproduce that with one Crypt Fiends. You at least get two Crypt Fiends uh, or two Crypt uh, Gargoyles or something. You can... Uh, that, that production capability is way too hot. Too, too, uh, uh, production capability is way too big to uh, compete. It's like Chinese economy. Uh, there's way too, too many workforce there. There's absolutely nothing you can do uh, unless you are willing to sacrifice your own workers, uh, uh, your own workers, uh, working environment, and all that. Uh, anyway, back to Warcraft. We're gonna see Shade, Shade, uh, Ghoul, and uh, now this scouting Shade. It's really nicely done by the undead player. Uh, let's see his map vision here. He has an eye on this base, making sure this base never gets fully operational. Using the shade to scout the human tech, make sure there's no hidden tech, catch him by surprise. He knows exactly what to expect after seeing this. And he is going to have a ghoul station here at, at the 11, 12, 1 o'clock, just in case the human try to do something sneaky. Here's the first uh, crossroad down the way. Here's the, uh, uh, any even secondary production buildings? No, he's going to pump. Frostworms out of one boneyard. He's not even pumping Frostworms, he's getting freezing breath. That's one upgrade you rarely see in the pro matchup because it costs so much lumber. I think if I'm if not if I'm not wrong, 275 lumber, something ridiculous. And and doesn't even get you that much of a uh, upper hand in a in one-on-one -on -one fight in a straight-up fight because you know, normally in a straight-up fight you want your you want your frostworm to do damage against heavy armor units like knights or um, motor teams in that case is light armored or griffins light armored you want your frostworm to do maximum damage against those flash damage uh, splash damage against those uh, it's rarely you get you get to use your frostworm to hit buildings but it, it, when human towers like this, you got uh, that's got to be beneficial. You start, you just, look at this and that. <laughs> Here's Nova. There's a knight. So we're gonna see probably. Oh, Coil! No, Lich! No! <laughs> Pop the potion of healing. TP! Jesus Christ! Oh, did lose a fiend trading against a Griffin. Not bad. Uh, but human doesn't know about this though. But he will, trust me, he will after he get outrun by some frost worms. There are like three frost worms in the air. He'd be like, holy crap, what did I miss? And human's gonna scan here, seeing exactly where the productions are. Let's see if he scan here. No, I don't think so. Let's see if human knows about this yet. Uh, oh, well, no, sorry, wrong, wrong, wrong hotkey. He no, does know about this expansion. He scanned. So let's see what human just has to do about this. He does have an upper hand economy by having three bases, so he doesn't have to hurry. But he cannot let Undead get away with uh, two gold mines for too long because he, they can outrun you with the tier 3 units. Uh, undead tier 3 units almost is better than anybody else's on the tier 3 units. That's my theory. I'm sticking to it. Looks like Undead is going to... Looks like Undead is going to creep this camp here. Lower the camps. Pull the camps away. It's very good. It's just a uh, good habit to have. We're going to see. Let's see what he... What he, what he get? What do he get? It's a consumable item. I know what it is, but oh, it, there it is—a potion of greater mana. I know exactly what the thing's supposed to have. And here we go. We're gonna see he creeping the eight o'clock here. Let's see if they're gonna turn out to be a mass expanding game. Here comes human. He's gonna try to take down undead base. 
And Undead might want to TP there, or is he going to walk there? I don't know. Has a level 2, level 2 Unholy Aura, so he can't afford to walk. He's going to see the human now. Let's see if he's going to TP or he's going to walk. Frost Worm just add a lot of uh, immobility in your armor, uh, in your army, in your army. Here comes the Fiends. Here comes the uh, uh, Frost Worms. Here comes the TP. Cloud, very standard. And, uh... But I want to start making alkalis out of these both necropolises because you, the chances are you're going to lose another one. Uh, and you're going to lose, you, you already lost one, you're making two so you can use the other one to repair. Anyway, here comes the statues, another statue going to be turned. And we're going to see five fiends on the ground, six fiends on the ground. Oh, wow, wow. And we're going to see slowly solo frost in the air. I don't know what the human's trying to do here. We're trying to creep the god on the lap. And you're going to lose the archimage, it's not that careful. Holy god. Water, all the water until is going to be drained by the, soaked up by the destroyers, and here we go. Uh, we're going to see air army, big army fight. I think human gets outnumbered. 81 food for human, 82 for undead. Undead is going to outnumber anybody. Well, you know, even food fight, undead always has the upper advantage, upper hand, especially when they are tier 3. So this is not a good fight for human. I don't care how, many, how big your heroes are. Level 5, 2, and 3, I think, uh, versus... 5, 4, 3, that's not a good thing. Oh, wow, well, he just killed a Lich. But I think Human lost a Mountain King. Oh, never mind, Mountain King is right there. Lost a bunch of units, though. Panda's gonna be next. There's absolutely no way you can heal the Panda, though. Panda's gonna be going down. Looks like Believe is gonna get the... Oh, he has level 3 weapons! That's how he won the battle. Okay, I, I didn't even see that. So both Knights and Griffins had level 3 weapons on them. That's how they won the battle. And, oh, wow, I didn't really expect that level 3 weapons. And now the human's gonna rule the map, and uh, Undead is gonna have to tavern one of the heroes back. Let's see which one he's, is he reviving. Is he reviving one at all? He's not reviving any, so he's gonna have both. He's gonna grab the panda as well. No, what? What? He's gonna abandon that panda, and here we go. Ghoul's gonna do damage against here. And we're gonna see the cloud, and he renders your defense is absolutely worthless. Here, go down goes all your acolytes. Let's see if he sells it. Nope. So we're gonna see the ghouls are gonna try to fight the militia, never gonna work, especially when your big daddy is here. So the militia is gonna be killed, all the towers need to be cancelled, although human did a pretty successful base trade. Let's see if the DK has more TP. There's the TP back. So human might wanna counter TP counter TP out, he may wanna fight this thing out. Here comes the TP by the undead. Uh, absorb magic. Uh Lich! Lich! Holy god. Lich has two potion of healing on just in case. Meanwhile, the destroyers are full of mana and level 3 weapons is never to be underestimated. DK needs to be careful. DK has, uh, has nothing to save him. Just use his DK, using the death pack on a fiend, just to keep him a alive a little longer. This is what you get for not getting uh, banshees to fight this griffin thing. But it looks like if Nova Coil on the Archmage didn't bother the Archmage a bit because the paladin's right around to heal him. And we're gonna see the DK is the one in trouble using the coil and maybe another death pack on the fiend again to save himself one more time and there's a uh what he used on the he used on the death uh, uh dark ritual on the lich hoping to nuke the lich the decay went down so that's the game believe lost i hope you guys enjoyed it and move on to game two